Good afternoon everybody! Time for a WolfOfBricks.com update. Once again I am Jim and this is where we talk about Lego investing and reselling. Now before we get into the video of course I'd like to ask everybody to like and subscribe to this channel. It uh, really helps us out. Uh, really nothing to announce before we get into the main topic so we're just going to dive into it. This Lion's Knight's Castle man this set is awesome. I love it, right? And it's <laughs> that price point, $399.99, available August 8th, as I'm sure everybody knows. Let me tell you, man, Lego is becoming more expensive for me. And I'm not just talking about reselling, right? So I'll go to the Lego store occasionally and I'll pick up some new sets. I want to make sure I have it on hand. I don't want to be caught with my, my pants down and have it be retired and then I'm unable to get the set at retail price. But let me tell you, man, I refuse to spend a thousand dollars a month as a collector and a builder at the Lego store. I'm just not going to do it. Now, it doesn't mean I'm not going to pick this set up. But there's other sets I want to get before this. And, you know, I have Optimus Prime. I have the DeLorean. i uh, looking around. Of, and all these sets are, of course, are on the shelf because I don't have any time to buy them. And they're only singles, too. Uh, but yeah, I have a Batman Tumblr that I've had on the shelf for about 10 years. I, I got various other... I got Saturn V rockets. But anyway, this set right here really looks good. Now, it's a little bit over 4,500 pieces. I think the set count is 4,514 pieces. And let me tell you, this is going to take forever to build. I challenge any Lego builder out there, Brixy or whoever, <laughs> to do a YouTube live and build this from beginning to end. I mean, God bless you if that's something you're able to, to do. I just don't see it happen. You'll, you'll have to break it up. But the video here, I do want to put a price point on it. And, you know, this I think this is a bold move because this is something that I'm not familiar with a lot. And I, I want to say that ahead of time. But here's the deal. If you agree with what I'm saying, you, you know, drop it in the comments. If you don't agree with what I'm saying, drop it in the comments. I'd love to hear feedback. And, you, you know, just because I've been doing this for 10 years doesn't mean I'm, I'm not still learning. I'm still learning. But I think I got a pretty good idea on how this set will do post-retirement. This set reminds me a lot when we're talking about ROI post-retirement uh, of this set right here. Set number 10221, Lego Star Wars Super Star Destroyer. This is a set that I wish I had. Now, when I started getting into reselling and buying Lego, at the time I was just buying Lego because I hadn't sold any Lego, right? This was, you know, circa 2012. I went to the Lego store and I saw all these sets. I saw the green... Was it the Green Grocer? I don't know if it was the Green Grocer. But I saw the Haunted House. The first Haunted House. I saw this set. And I was like, man, these sets are lots and lots of money. I think I'm going to buy some R2-D2s. And I think I might buy some Architecture Studios. Which was not a bad idea. I, mean, I, I lucked out well on it. But I passed up on this because I was a new reseller. And I was like, I'm not spending 400 bucks on a Lego set. Well, here we are. We're now talking about a castle set that, that I'm probably going to be buying. I don't think I'll be going deep on it. I might be going a little. And I also want to see what's out there, right, when it comes to discounts. This is a set that will probably be out for at least two years, maybe three. All depends. And I want to see what the price action is. Are there going to be Black Friday specials? Are there going to be Prime specials, Amazon Prime specials next year? Who knows? But when we go to Camel, 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 you could see... Now, it does look like, again, similar to the last video, this does look like a bit of a broken chart right here because there's not information. But I know, because I, I'm familiar with this set, I, I know what it used to do. But if you look from when it sold out at $400 and was discontinued to now, look at that, $2,298. That's the buy box right now. That is just crazy it but here's the deal that's a set that you know there's just not one like it out there that size uh lego didn't remake this one right uh god help all the people <laughs> that still have this set if lego decides to go ahead and remake it but i remember you know 
less than a year after it retired. I think it was going around for maybe $600, $650. And I mentioned it before, there was a article on BrickPick or a blog post where it talked of, about the argument of buying this set third party and still holding on, on to it because they believe the value will go up even higher. And that was a nice call for the person that, that did that blog, blog post. They're definitely right. Uh, it does go up higher. Now, I'm not comparing apples to apples here because this is a Star Wars set <laughs> and a castle set. Uh, but let's start to get a little bit closer to apples to apples here. Uh, this right here, this is the LEGO Creator 3-in-1 Medieval Castle, uh, set number 31120. This set is a very affordable $99.95. This is a set that I don't own yet, uh, but I'm probably going to get it in the near future and this set is great i've talked about this set in the past and just for fun i i haven't done this let's see what the rank is on this so the rank is 358 in toys and building sets which really isn't that bad i mean i recall the lego architecture las vegas set was somewhere in the three to four hundreds whenever it used to be available there's a lot of architecture sets that are around the 300 uh, category i think some of the the burr khalifas are a little bit closer to number one but you, you know that's not bad at all and just for fun, we're going to go to Camel, Camel, Camel and see what has happened whenever this set has sold out. And you can see, you know, there's a lot of promise and a lot of potential here. It looked like the highest was 174, but that was when it first came out, right? But this right here, you, you see a lot of 150s or close to it. And of course, it looks like there's a lot of inventory in stock now. So the third party people have, have kind of dropped off. So that's encouraging. Next, we're going to check out the Lego Ideas Medieval Blacksmith. A lot of medieval stuff going on. Set number 21325. Uh, retails for 148 so you know i really gotta give it to lego lego has done a lot to up their medieval castle you, you know umbrella there's you know this is an idea set there's the the three in one so there's a lot of piecemeal which is cool right this this is what i like to see in a lego city right i like to see i well let's talk about what i don't like to see I don't like to see these cookie cutters straight out of the box modulars. I like to see some creativity and putting, you know, these piecemeal sets into one large medieval city, if you want to call it, I think is really cool. And if you don't know this, I highly encourage you to go to Brick Fanatics. There are very useful articles about this set and the last set, this castle set, the $99 one, where there are alternative Build. So you could take two of these castles at 99 bucks each and, and you could form it into one and it looks great. Same thing with the medieval blacksmith. You could purchase a second medieval blacksmith and I think there's an alternative build for a horse stable and everything. And the color looks exactly like it, of course, because it's <laughs> the same set, but it's an alternate build. And it really, I believe, gives the set a little bit more depth because you have more things going on. So I really think it's all cool. And of course, when we go to the medieval blacksmith on Camel, 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 you can see the highest price was uh, 225. And that, of course, that's when it first came out. So there's a lot of demand for it whenever inventory is sold out. Now, if I haven't done it already, let's go ahead and see what the rank is on here. So the rank on here is 420, which is pretty good. It's similar to the other set, which has a rank of 358. So it's all good news. It's, it's, so this set will definitely do well post-retirement. It's just a matter of how well it will do. And of course, this is what I'm going for. I'm going for this chart right here. Uh, kind of the same trajectory if this <laughs> chart wasn't broken. I, I've seen, I've looked at this chart in the past and I know it wasn't broken. So I, I don't know what's going on here if there's data missing or whatever. But in any case, that's my take on it. And if you agree with it or don't agree with it, I would love to hear it in the comment. That's it, my friends. Again, hope you enjoy the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Once again, I'm Jim with wolfabricks.com. Always go out there and get it.